Okay, so I'm over here and I'm scouring the internet and one of the episodes that I'm editing on, I told you guys that, you know what, I'm going to link in somebody on YouTube making the reverse Palmar knot. But guess what? I can't find anybody making the reverse Palmar, so roll that intro. Okay guys, we're going to get into this two minute tip. We're going to learn how to tie the reverse palmar. So here's an enticer popping cork. You're going to have one line run down to your hook. You're also going to have a line that's tied on to your main line coming from the same eye. Now there's many different applications that you can use the reverse palmar and you can get your you know, you can get your thinking cap on on how you're going to use this later on. But the reason why you would use this is, is if you attach your main line to this popping cork and you still have to attach uh, your leader line and a hook, you want to still be able to use the palmar knot, but you're not going to be able to do that because you can't fit your main line and, every, you know, your fishing rod and everything through your palmar knot. So what we're going to do, we're going to make believe that this here is our main line coming down to the top of your swivel. And then this is the barrel swivel, okay? Let's make believe that these two carabiners attached to the barrel swivel. This is the top eye, this is the bottom eye of the, of the barrel swivel. Now obviously you can't feed everything on this side through to make your palmar knot on this side. So what you're gonna have to do is this. You're gonna act like you're gonna build, or you're gonna tie a regular palmar knot. So you're gonna double over your line, you're gonna stick it through the other eye of your swivel. And then you're going to make that overhand knot. You're going to make that loop nice and big. And then you're going to grab the tag end and the other line in the main part of your leader. And you're going to fish the tag end and the main part of your leader through instead of pulling everything else through like a, a normal palmar. So then what you would do is you would pull on your tag end and the main part of your leader material. And you're going to cinch that down tight, making the reverse palmar on the other side. Uh, it's a little more difficult to get this down tight when you're using rope, but you guys, you guys get the idea. So now you've got a knot that's tightening down on itself and you've got a palmar to your main line and you've got the reverse palmar. You would trim this tag end off and then you, you're free on the other end of your leader to do a palmar knot for your hook. Well, that's it. I hope that you guys have a fantastic day. We'll catch you the next time.